Yeah, it's your boy Fist in his house, bringing another great edition of Modern Warfare 2 on YouTube for you, because hey, that's what I do. And uh, I know we left off in our discussion in regards to Steady Aim and Stalker, and I'm, I'm using the FAMAS on the same map, uh, what is it, uh, Scrapyard, and basically what I'm talking about is how are we going to use... I don't think people realize the difference about Steady Aim and Stalker. Like, down the road, they'll finally get it. And here's why it pertains so much to, to three burst weapons. is because if you could ADS and run walk as you're ADSing, it's just as important as shooting an SMG off the hip. Because if you get hit with three-shot burst and it's dead on, that means it's that's it, you're done. So it would be more advantageous for you if you're using the three-shot burst weapon to use Stalker with your setup. Now, the question comes in into play, into my mind, is Steady Aim going to be as powerful as Call of Duty 4 or... Is it going to be like Modern Warfare 3 where it's really not that effective? And, and those are the questions. Some people will be able to run. I mean, obviously, with the, te with the quality of players that you're going up against, you know, you're going to say, well, hey, you know, it's, 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 you could have two setups. Like, you can run the, the T95 with the uh, uh, Steady Aim, or you can run it with Stalker. Either way, either way, I think it's a good play. I, I, I think it's a better play... You know what? Now that I think about it, I think it's a better play to run the assault rifle with the, the uh, steady aim because it's more powerful, and uh, because you could use it, you could use it in twofold. One, you can aim down the sights on a short map, and two, it's very powerful. But if you're a running rushing player, that you could shoot off the hip. Now, versus a long map, versus a long map, you'd want to use stalker because. You know, you're going to be running, you're going to see somebody at a long distance, you want to ADS as fast as you can. And the thing about it is that now you can run walk, so if they're moving, it's more, it's easy, it's it's better for you to track that target in a faster pace situation versus not having it. So let's say you're running steady aim on a long map and you, you see somebody that's pretty far and they're running, but yet they're about to like go around a corner or something. And you need those couple of seconds to adjust and get your sights and aim down the ADS and lock onto that target and take him out. You can't do that with steady aim versus stalker and a long map. So those are, those are the trade-offs that you'll be able to use. Now I, th I think it's a I think it's a great setup. I'm looking forward to it. I cannot wait because you know not everybody watches my videos and not everybody's going to know this. And these are the things that I'm telling you that. You know, these are the things that are going to help you win by the margins. I'm giving you inside information. It's going to make your gameplay magnificent. And I'm definitely going to be trying it out as soon as I pop into it. I mean, it's strange. Like, but if you have range and grip on a 12 gauge shotgun, and then you have Stalker, and what? You could be run walking and shooting people with the 80s, but you don't need the ADS with the shotgun. I mean, but I think if the spread pattern gets closer together, it might go further out. So you just imagine the range that you would have with range, grip, and stalker on a shotgun. Oh, my God. I mean, people are going to be crying about that weapon so much when that comes out. It's going to be a nightmare. And I'm just saying that, you know, you could look, you, you could say what you want, but that's coming. And, that, and I'm glad that they have active, uh, active patching. The big question to me is, are they going to... Police now and Treyarch did a wonderful job. Nobody could take this away from Treyarch. They police their weapon online better than anybody else has ever done. Uh, EA, uh, Infinity Ward put together those guys. Treyarch has done a wonderful job. There's no doubt in my mind. But like I said, I like using the the three shot burst weapons. I think comparative. You could see here that it just seems like the Famas is so much easier to to kill people. It just seems less bulkier in your hands and uh, it doesn't have such of a you, you look at the m16 there's way more muzzle flash than there is on the famas if you look at the famas it's barely any muzzle flash 
and there's there's no reeling. I talked about that in the last web in the last video. It's completely why the FAMAS is far superior to the M16. It's because when you're getting shot, you're not getting kickbacks, you're not getting reeled on. I mean, you're, you when you lay on the target, that's it. There's nothing they can do unless they command you like that with pain pill. Nah, I can't stand death streaks. I'm still gonna bitch about it when it comes out. But I hope you enjoyed this little comparison, and you know maybe I should call it like stalker steady aim versus uh, t95 and all the rest of them put together but anyways for what it is i hope you guys learned something give you a couple of hints until next time it's your boy fist peace